Perhaps Will should call in the Jones boys for a bit of inspiration. The whole world's talking about the Jones boys, the Jones boys, the Jones boys. The whole town's talking about the Jones boys today, taking a bite now, because they're taking a bite now. So a critical time in the match, again evenly poised, as Jones prepares to throw into the line out, a fine leap there by Jones, out to Jones. It goes out to Jones, this is a promising run, out to Jones, it's further out on the left to Jones, this is a magnificent run by Jones, inside it goes to Jones, to Jones, to Jones, to Jones, and believe it or not, it's going to be Jones with the try. Well, I've heard of keeping up with the Joneses, but this is ridiculous, it's got to be the ultimate nightmare for a commentator, so what's it all about? Now, I have a Jones here, but what's your first name? I'm Rick, I'm closely followed by Bill. And there's Patrick, and there's Peter, there's Matthew, there's Timothy, and there's Gareth, and you are all brothers. We are all brothers, yes. We formed ourselves into a rugby seven about three or four months ago now. We've been in uh, heavy training for a seven tournament coming up at the Old Gifflands in April. We've been running out now for about a couple of months, practicing hard, yes. Now tell me the, the, the age difference, what's that? The age difference is uh, 33, um, that's me, and then it goes down to uh, brother Gareth at 14. So you've really had to wait for him to catch up? We've waited quite a long time for him to catch up, yes, 14 years in fact. Now tell me, how does the brotherly love translate onto rugby field? Is it a good team spirit or is it pretty awful? Well, brotherly love was pretty rosy before, but now that we've been practicing for a few weeks, it's getting quite strong now, isn't it? You know, meeting down the pub, that sort of thing, it's uh, formed quite a strong bond, I think. Well now, the teams come together for this particular event, but you're dispersed all over the country, and Bill, I think you're the furthest away, aren't you? Yes, that's right. I've just come down from Edinburgh, just for the weekend, and I teach at George Watson's College. Uh, I'm a teacher, as I say, but we have in the family a journalist, we have a metal spinner, we have a caterer, a hotelier, a schoolboy, and a marine. The Marine is you, Matthew, uh -huh. but there is a serious side to all this fun, isn't there? Yes, there is. If you remember back to September 22nd last year, uh, 11 Royal Marine bandsmen were killed by an IRA bomb down in Deal. Now, a friend, one of them was a friend of mine, uh, musician Richard Fife, and there's been a fund set up in his name, the Richard Fife Memorial Fund. Now, this fund is to enable young budding musicians in the South Morgan area to uh, financially support them. So how are you going to do that? Well, for each point we score, so much money will be bid to each point. You really got to get uh, through a few rounds, haven't you? Oh, yeah. We did, we're aiming to hit at least a thousand. <laughs> well, now we come to the youngest member of the Jones clan, Jones Minor. Gareth Edward, there's got to be a story attached to that. Yes, well, I was born at the time he was very popular in the best, 1975. He was a scrum half. Would you like to follow in his footsteps? Yes, I was scrum half here last year at the school. And I would like to play as well with him. Well, looking at you, guys, you're obviously the strongest member of this team, but is there a weak link? Well, Rick's fast is fine. He's got bad legs at the moment. Right, come on. 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 Come I had quite a job to keep up with them. Was there ever a time when they were all under the same roof? Yes, there was a short time. But I do get them back from time to time for weekends. Plus their wives and children were for flight. And what team spirit like? They all get on? Oh, they get on very well indeed, yes. We're always surprised at how happy they are to see one another. Are you surprised and are you pleased that they've all taken to rugby? I'm not surprised, but I am very pleased because uh, I do love watching my own life there. And my husband brings me that. Not only have the Jones brothers taken to rugby, but like all good Welshmen, they're certainly not going to pass up the opportunity for a song. This time, orchestrated and conducted by Jones Miniman, the most recent addition to the town. The whole town's talking about the Jones boys, the Jones boys, the Jones boys. The whole town's talking about the Jones boys, because they're taking a party now. The whole team's made up of seven brothers, Jones brothers. Now. Every single, 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 every single,
Next week, it's back to international action. France against Ireland and Paris, and Scotland, still on course for the Grand Slam, go to Cardiff to play Wales. And to see them on their way with a bit of musical nostalgia. Who better than the Jones boys? <laughs> How do you follow that?